Hey guys, Josh Carter here with One Objective. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a kayak that me and James are really excited about, so stay tuned. Alright guys, like I said at the beginning, we're going to be talking about a new platform, a new kayak, a paddle board, whatever you want to call this thing. Um, it, me and James were really excited about getting this though. Um, we had did some warm water testing, which I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. Um, did have some camera issues for some reason when James filmed and put everything in time lapse. Don't know why I did that, but anyways, so I do have my review of me just being out on the water, kind of paddling around, pedaling around, so I'll say. Uh, and just kind of giving my opinion on it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start rolling a video of where well, we took this out on the water, tested it out. It's just a short clip of me out there kind of pedaling around talking about it. Uh, and then after that, I'll kind of just do a walkthrough and show you all the little features about this and um, things we like about it and, and go from there. All right, guys, out here in the Hobie Links. And I'm gonna say, I really, really love this. I mean, I'm a big dude, okay? So, this, I guess, is what 10 foot, what this kayak is. Um, give or take, don't, don't beat me up in the comments. But, anyways, uh, just how fast this boat is, it is phenomenal. Like, I, I'm not even working really hard to paddle this kayak, and how it tracks is phenomenal, too. Um, I think for like this this little river system we're fishing right here i think this kayak is perfect for it um it turns on a dime i mean you can make just sharp turns and you don't feel like you're gonna flip over or anything like that i know with me being a bigger dude i don't know if it's like this with james or not but if you're really humping it trying to get speed going I feel like it's plowing a little bit of water in the front, but I think it needs weight in the back. So like we have no, uh, there's a fish over here jumping. But anyways, we don't have no black pack. Um, we don't have no weight in the back whatsoever, except for us just sitting right here. So I feel like it needs just a little bit more weight in the back, um, which is, you know, when we go fishing, we're gonna have a black pack, we'll have rods and all that stuff. So I think it's, I think this boat here you can you can put your steering on either side you want you're you're you know pulling up your rudder all that stuff all, all that you can switch things around and make it your own how you like to like to use it so uh going from a 360 to the regular 180 uh, it's a little different just getting used to reverse and forward and all that stuff I, I i really like the 360 a little bit better on that but i know you can't get you know 360 in here so but it's not that big of a deal it's really not a pain at all um you know they've kind of they've kind of made that system i don't want to say bulletproof but they've made that system work really well so um but so far i've liked this i've liked this kayak i like the track work they got here um the ability you know to to add a little odd and accessories this is not a boat you know we we do a lot of wild and crazy stuff when we rig this is not a boat that you want to go wild and crazy with this is a boat that you want to jump pond to pond or go fish uh, you know, a small little river near your house, stream or whatever. Something you can just throw right on top of your car by yourself. You don't need a trailer. Uh, this is the boat. This is the boat that you want to keep it simple in. And um, I'm really impressed with it. I just like it. I like how stable it is. The one thing it is tough for me, because I'm a taller guy, is if I want to stand up in it. Um, standing up is easy. I think I need a pull strap up front for me to stand. I'm not the most nimble guy, but uh, I can stand up in it, but when sitting back down, the seat is so low. Um, so that right there is kind of, I don't like that too much. Um, but you know, I get it too. It makes the boat super stable. I could probably get away with like putting a cooler here if I can just attach my my rudder system, you know. But I do like it though. It's super sick boat. I really like this. I think it, probably plan on getting another one of these and, and rigging this out and I like to get it on the James River in some of the areas and see how well it does some of the areas I got a little bit swifter current um, all that just see how it does I don't know it might suck I don't know but I just I really like to see how well it does I don't I'm not talking like big rapids or nothing but just to see just see how it does with a lot of current um, 
and kind of maneuvering around rocks and all that stuff. So far, I mean, I mean, this thing just turns. You can see in the background, this thing just turns on a dime. So, but anyways, that's my take on it. I mean, like I say, turning around, trying to get stuff. I mean, you put a black pack back here, it's easy to get to. Uh, you know, you got your little paddle storage here. You got a little bit of room under the seat. You know, put a little tackle box or two, whatever, if you want to under there. But like I say, most of the time, I'm just going to put everything in the black pack. I'm going to have one or two boxes. This is kind of boat. You only bring one or two boxes, one or two rods, and you just hit it. So you'll probably see me and James in this a lot more often in some of these uh, some of these videos of hitting like little river systems and ponds. So anyways, let's get back in. We'll do uh, just, you know, our full walk, final walkthrough and review. And then, um, like I say, in the comments below, let us know if you guys got one. What you think about it? Is there anything you think it needs to be changed on it? And um, uh, you know, and if you're in the market to get one. All right, guys, so that's some of the on water demo. Um, that was the first time we've actually had them out. We had the had it for a while. Never had the opportunity to really get it out on the water. Super impressed at how fast this thing paddled. It was it was unbelievable how fast it paddled. Um, the stability of it is just it's phenomenal I, I was able to let my son go out take it out it's super comfortable and it's great for kids um you know for ease for them to paddle it around or pedal it around um or paddle if you need to but um being able to stand up and all that but i, I think where this thing is going to be really good at for a lot of you uh, guys that you know love tournament fishing or just fishing in general is how light this is it's so easy you can take the seat off easy i mean you keep all all the stuff attached i'll show you guys this here in a minute you can keep everything attached Take your rudder off, throw, take your, your pedals out, and boom, you can car top it if you want to. Um, I think this is gonna be great for guys that fish like a lot of your Hobie BOS or your Bassmaster events or any of your you know your regular kayak tournament stuff where you know you have some stuff where you got a big kayak that's built for like the lake or, or big water. Uh, it's too heavy to get in some spots. This right here, like if you're just you know you're gonna put in right of a bridge uh, or you know old back road somewhere where you can kind of get in. This right here is going to be phenomenal and game changer. You know, it's not going to be something you can bring a lot of tackle with. You know, I'm thinking three rods uh, on a black pack, and you know, just a few boxes in there, just a little, just a little bit to get you going. But like, say, also if you if you work during the day and then you know you want to get off in the afternoon, you want to go fishing, but you don't feel like calling a trailer and all that with you, um, this right here is perfect. I mean, you just throw it on top of your car as you're heading home. You just stop by your favorite pond and go hit it and, and go fishing. But uh, fell in love with it, really like it. But I'm gonna go do just a little walkthrough, show you a little bit of everything about it, and then, uh, and then in the comments below, I want to know if you guys have it, if you guys have it, or if there's any concerns you had about it or any questions you had about it. You know, put them down in the comments below. We'll do our best to try to get there and answer them all. All right. Well, let's start with the uh, pedal drive system. You got the Mirage Drive 180. Um, this is the first time we've used the 180. We, we when we bought and in, got into Hobie PA 14s. It had the 360. It's the first time we really was in a Hobie. So um, going and, and messing with the uh, the 180 drive, it's actually pretty simple. I mean, the one thing I, you know, it, you're so used to the 360 where you can turn it real quick and kind of, without well, basically have instant reverse. Um, this right here takes just a little bit more. You know, you got to pull it and, and work it in and, and get it going in reverse. But it's not it's not bad. It really isn't. Um, but I mean, it comes out very simple. You just pull these little levers here boom pops out um, I am we are going to put some kind of tether system on here we can tether it off and you know hook it to one of these points here or something that way if you do take it out you know or you happen to be going down the river or whatever something happens you know freak things happen and you lose that drive because they're not cheap you don't want to lose that so um, I like how it comes with the cup holder and you can place it in, you can place it on that side over there if you want to, or this side. This depends on which side you want your rudder system. And like I say, this is all very simple. It's got a little, it's got a little knob right here. You pull that knob down, you can take it off, and you can switch it, put it over there, or if you need to like tear it down or whatever. But then you got your seat straps here. You know, you strap it down so you don't lose your seat. It also has two here that I just haven't strapped. They go down in this little little piece here they just hook right in I haven't strapped that yet haven't had this one on the lake yet the one you seen in the video was the first one we got um, and then we just went down to dugout bait and tackle and picked up the second links we fell in love with it so much so this is something you're gonna see more videos of especially down there fishing the Blackwater River and all that stuff this kayak just moves around this stuff so easy um, then like say taking your rudder off super simple 
same thing you got this little knob here pull this knob out it slides up out of the groove and then you want to take it off like say same thing on the bottom you got your little red piece you pull a little knob you pull it take it off i mean you can break this kayak down in like less than five minutes really i mean it's it's super easy uh i got some nice little bungee straps up here if you want to hold you know like a lunch box or a small little tackle box or whatever also got the bungee straps back here um I'm, we're going to probably put some omni hooks on here that way we can put the black pack back here uh, it already had the rod holders on it all that stuff so some other things that we like to we're going to be doing is you know doing the hobie bars that, that'll go across here um that way you can put a little more extra options on there um that's a one thing i mean they do give you two track pieces here but being able to put the hobie bar system on there you'll have a little bit more track work uh, you can put a few other odd and end options like if you wanted to put like a front rod holder something holds your rod while you're um you know rigging up a reel or rigging up a lure or something like that um got a nice little just a little simple pull handle or or you know something you pick your kayak up with there um and then right over here also they have where your handles are at which make it really simple to pick the kayak up um but once you once you take everything off of there but you also have right here just a little uh, like a paddle strap so you want to put your paddle right here you can you can just strap it right on it's hard to do it one-handed but you get the point anyways you get the point um and then like say you pull your rudder up here you can pull it up now one thing i, I am having difficult for and maybe you guys can um comment down below maybe i'm doing it wrong i don't know um but i can get i can get the rudder up to here that's it i can't seem to get it i can't seem to get it up no further maybe it's something that i'm not doing i don't know but can't get the rudder all the way up so if you guys can let me know something what we're doing wrong here but this we've only had the boat on the water one time so we really haven't played with it too much so maybe we'll i'll do some adjustments here but like say it's got the little piece here where you hook your rudder so i mean it literally in five minutes guys in less than five minutes i think you could have this thing broke down and then have it going up on top of your your um your car with no problem so but anyways that is just kind of the walkthrough of the links um it's like I say it's hard to do a big walkthrough because it's, it's not a lot to it i mean it, that's why we like it it's super simple um if you want to keep things simple this is this is the the kayak slash sup pedal board paddle board whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to use it for i think this is going to be an awesome setup it is so it's just amazing how fast it was and we were working around like it had a lay down on a tree and we were just kind of working working the tree around like i mean it turns on a dime um i know you guys have used the pa 14s and all that stuff they turn good uh, especially if you get the 360 yes you can naturally just turn it easily but um having like the 180 drive and the pa 14 you know that it turns really well i think it turns better than most boats on the market um that has a you know a, a rudder steer system but it still doesn't turn like as sharp as we like to and and i get that because you know you got to have water pushing against it you got to be able to paddle or pedal to make it go faster to, to, to be able to turn faster shall i say um not trying to ramble here but but you get what i'm saying but this right here is just amazing to me that where it being so short that just a couple of kicks with your feet with the rudder turn it turns on a dime so i highly recommend if you want something simple i know i know it's in a a, a different price range compared to like what a, a a cheaper kayak would be like if you went and got like a crescent or something or a, a, a vibe or bonafide or, or any of those i know that but you know for something that you can pedal around really quick really easily but for a kayak that is it takes little effort to get it moving um, that goes very quickly and turns on a dime this kayak is it like I say a little pricey but I understand, you know, it's a lot to this guy. These pedal drive systems ain't cheap. The seats aren't cheap. So, you know, and they give you a paddle. So basically when you buy this, you are ready to go. You don't have to go buy, you know, a paddle. Um, you already got your pedal drive system. You don't have to really put no motor on this. You can, you know, if you'd like to later on. But I mean, in all honesty though, you could just put this thing in the water and go fishing and be good I and mean, be in a kayak tournament just like that. So, um, but other than that guys, that's all I got to got to say about it. We really thoroughly enjoy it. The next video is gonna come out We're gonna be doing some rigging on it 
just adding a few options just to make life a little bit easier out on the water, a little more organized. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, I do want to thank uh, Dugout Bait and Tackle. They've helped us out a lot when it comes to getting these different kayaks and um, you know being able to shoot video on some of the newest kayaks that come out. So uh, if you get a chance, go out to dugoutbaitandtackle.com, check out their website. And if you get a chance and you're in the Georgia area or want to make a trip to uh, Georgia area and around Atlanta, uh, make sure you go check out Dugout Bait and Tackle. Super great people, awesome people to work with, very knowledgeable. So, and then plus they got one really nice tackle shop. So other than that, guys, we'll talk to you later. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. See you later. Bye.